Hello again, everybody. It's Orion from Orion Jeans Book Club, and today I will be reviewing the nerdiest, wimpiest, dorkiest, I funny ever. I think they ran out of names, but that name is also kind of funny. If you have read the I Funny series before, you will know that Jamie here is the champion. He had named the planet the planet's funniest kid comic, standard kid comic. One problem though, he doesn't exactly stand up. He's in a wheelchair. <laughs> so now the producer of the um, of the planet's funniest kid comic, stand up kid comic, he's like, how can the Planet's funniest kid comic be the funniest on the planet when the when all the planet didn't even compete. I mean that just doesn't make any sense. So he decides to go international, and he decides that we're gonna have to do more competitions to see who is really the funniest kid comic. So. Where they're going is, so first stop will be Rio de Janeiro. And then, after Rio, they're going to Sydney and Australia. Then they go to Tokyo, Japan. After then, after that, they go to Nairobi in Africa, Kenya. And then you'll back up to, they'll, they're going to go to Dubai, to Dubai. And then that's going to be like really, really hot. Then they're going to Berlin. And then the last stop, London, for the live finale. I mean, Jamie's kind of getting worried here. He's like, hold on a minute, hold on. I competed fair and square with, for that trophy. Okay? Now you're going to try to do it again to see if somebody can replace me. So that way, I'm gonna put the funniest kid comic in. I haven't even had this title for like six months. And then you gonna replace me? And he decides to not back down because he is a very confident person. He is like, nobody's, nobody can vote for me because I'm, Nobody can vote for me for the sympathy vote because I have a great life. I mean, he's like, I'm a regular kid. Just because I'm in a wheelchair doesn't mean I can I can't be funny. So he goes on to these people, and then he realizes something. The producer he doesn't want he doesn't want to make people laugh. That's not what he wants to do here. He he calls. He calls that a dub, a blood sport. He thinks it's not necessarily comedic. I mean, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. I don't think that's what he's after. He said he's after fireworks. And if you read between the lines here, if you read between the lines, you'll notice fireworks does not mean the elaborate color firecrackers that go off in the sky. That means trouble. He wants trouble. The producer wants trouble. And then he's like, okay, so I'm not going to let that happen because this is a comedy contest, not a wrestling contest. I mean, just saying. I don't want to make people hurt. I want to make them laugh. And if there's a chance, I want to make my contestant, I mean, my competitors laugh too. Because we're all friends in this. We're comedians. Comedians make people laugh. They don't insult people. It's not what they do. Comedians are here to make people laugh. Funny stuff. Funny stuff. So they go on to the finals in London. Spoiler alert. Jamie wins. I mean... Then he's like, hold on a minute. 
no, this trophy doesn't belong to me. And then he brings out a contestant, and then that contestant gives it to another person, and that contestant gives it to another person. And in the end, we realize it's a funny world after all. It's a funny world after all. But still, I mean, he still has other things to do. But then again, it's a funny world and a different one.